To a victory now for local renters, Mayor Quentin Lucas signed the Kansas City Tenant Bill of Rights. We don't care if there are 500 years of landlord-tenant law that we need to address. We don't care if there are power dynamics. We don't care if there are voting blocks, anything like that. We're going to make a difference, and we're going to make housing a priority. So what impact will this Bill of Rights have on you? Now, 41 Action News reporter Sarah Plate joins us live to break down the details of these changes. Sarah, I know you've been following this. What can you tell us? Well, the half, half of the city is made up of renters, 46%. And a lot of times renters don't have a place to go to if any issues come up between them and management. So this Bill of Rights establishes sort of a baseline that goes into effect this summer. Mm, I've been over this whole city looking for a safe place for people like me uh, where you don't have to be dehumanized and there are no places for people who want to do better. Gaddafi is homeless. He did 22 years in prison and since August has been scraping to get by. His car is his home right now. Everything he owns is in that car. And this is my spot. I recline and it fits everywhere and it could tuck it around me and it keeps me warm. He says trying to function in a society that rejects him is the reason he joined the KC Tenants Group, which helped pass a monumental Tenants Bill of Rights. Mayor Quentin Lucas, who supported this proposal, signed the resolution into action on Friday. KC Tenants hopes renters will feel the impact as early as June. The package guarantees several major protections, including knowing about any past issues in the unit, getting estimates on utility costs, requiring sufficient 24-hour notice before a landlord enters a unit, and requiring that a unit has running water and heat. A landlord can still look at tenant source of income, rental history, and criminal background, but cannot refuse to rent to the person without considering any additional information from the tenant. Every landlord is also required to give a copy of the Bill of Rights to every tenant. So when you have that sheet of paper in front of you, you know your rights. That's power in and of itself, and from there, you know where to go. The group hopes to establish a division of the tenant advocate by June. It empowers me already, I feel so much better just knowing, you know, any hope is better than no hope. So the group will work with the city's budgeting office all winter long to find ways to fund this million dollar project. I'm Sarah Plake, 41 Action News. All right, thank you, Sarah. 34 evictions were filed in Jackson County every day in 2018. 34 every day. Casey Tennant say many evictions are preventable, but people struggle with expensive rent and substandard housing. This package will give tenants more of a right to bargain and organize. So that people don't have to have so much flooding that they're growing mushrooms in their living room, you know? And these are things that I saw. It's not a guess, it's not, is this really happening? Like we have photos, it's, it's heartbreaking. And the Casey Tenant Group originally pushed for a right to an attorney, but had to leave it out of the proposal. The group says they will still fight for that protection.